be great, baby. It's gonna be great. Elected to receive.
piece of football. What's he going to do?
time left. Um, I wish I wouldn't have used my, my timeout earlier in that drive because we got down to first and ten and went to second and ten. Um, but I tell you, we had just enough time. We made just enough plays. And uh, we, like I told our, our, our court, I mean, our offense coordinator, Coach Andrew, and the rest of the offense, guys, we're not going to kick an extra point. We've already failed at that. We're going for two to win the game. Um, and I felt like we had the right, uh, I felt like we had the right play at the end. And when they called a timeout, that was big for us because I was able to make a quick adjustment on that power reverse with the tight end and the tackle and got a chance to look Cole in the face and say, buddy, you're going to have to run your face through somebody in order for us to get this. And sure enough, we did, and Kobe did what Kobe does. And, man, it's awesome, man. I mean, I, I don't know how much time I have. 
as well, and Coach Curtis has. So just having an opportunity to go against this program and something I'm trying to establish at this place is phenomenal. So couldn't be more proud of these guys. Going for two, is that, I mean, just the situational dynamic you mentioned, or is that how you want to approach these situations? No, that's how I wanted to approach Well, honestly, we were going to go for two. We were talking about going for two when we came out uh, out of halftime. Um, you know, because we still, they were chasing a point at that point when we scored. So I was trying to get it to a three-point score. Um, thinking that maybe a field goal might be the difference. And then, you know, we decided, hey, man, we don't want to chase points. We don't need to. Let's just take the extra point. So, uh, but we were already talking at halftime about being aggressive. Um, and look, these guys feed off of that, man. You know, they love the aggressive na uh, nature about what we're trying to, you know, what we're trying to start. And look, at the end of the day, if it didn't work, man, at least we let it hang out. You know, we, we freaking put it all out there to go get a, a win. Um, but man, it worked. So, <laughs> it worked. How about what you guys were able to do offensively? So that's what, that's what I'm talking about, man. Like, that's the kind of stuff, look, you know, you can learn from a lot of people. You can learn from football. You can learn from basketball. Other, you know, that's a Coach Krzyzewski thing. You know, we practice the halftime. We practice the ball coming out. Like, we do that consistently for our guys to feel comfortable in that moment. And I can tell you, there were so boys going out there. Um, and it was just turning into 99. You know what I mean? Uh, offensively, obviously, you know, we got it done. You know, but, I mean, credit to the defense at times. We got a turnover early. You know, they missed some, an extra point. So, I mean, you know, those things – those things can change the outcome of the game, but I mean, we're just, we're on fire. I mean, Cole Canatello's on fire, baby. I mean, gosh, all he's playing phenomenal football. Um, and this is where we need to be at, but like, I'm gonna tell them, hey, look, it's still only five. You know what I'm saying? It's still just five games, dude. We got five more, and of the five that are left, guess what? They're all in the top 10 or receiving votes in the top 10. So it ain't like it's getting easier. You know, we back door, we play Hog, then we come back, play Brother Martin, then we got Carr, and then we got East St. John. And East St. John's tearing it up. You know, on a short week on Thursday. So there's so much to still be played for, man. I just, I, you know, that, we're going to celebrate this one, though. I mean, holy, you can't not. You talked about De La Salle, you talked about Lum Dynasty, right, to what we're trying to hopefully establish here, man, Dynasty. You know, we, 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 we tapped off a team from last year, you know, or last week that, you know, has been excellent in this league for the last 25 plus years, you know, and now, you know, we delayed, you know, in my opinion, what we delayed, the inevitable of when he hits that record, you know, because he's going to, and I told our guys, I said, if you, if you don't know, it's either 619 or 77, which one you want to be, you know, like 619, you like everybody else, or 77, you're in a small group, and uh, man, we got a break on 77, so we wouldn't be in the 619, you know, so it, it just gets delayed a little bit, you know, but I mean, holy smokes, I mean, you know, I mean, I, you know, I, I, if I coach long enough, I hope to have a program that's like that. Hey, right quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Wish you was your hand. I remember. I swear. Let's get my hug. Hey, Uh, 
how much are you just looking forward to moments like that, you know, uh, having the chance just to win the game? I mean, it don't come around too often. I used to pray for times like this, man. There's, there's everything you dream of, playing in the court, you know, three seconds left, catching the ball, you know, this everything you pray for, and it's just amazing to see how it all turned out and finally have a moment like this. It's special. Y'all have several big wins already this season, five games in with the new coaching staff. What is it? A night like tonight, man, to beat a team that has all those state championships and all that history. Too. Yeah, um, everybody in the lock, outside of the locker room didn't believe. I mean, but we all had that mentality that we was going to win. And I think uh, Coach Scott did an uh, awesome job of doing that and keeping us confident and ready to work. Uh, this is just tremendous to the uh, to the school and just to the team uh, morale. Uh, we feel like we get unstoppable. And who next? You know what I'm saying? We're ready to work and ready to dominate whoever is in front of us. And the touchdown at the end, what was your view of everything that happened for Derek to end up with the ball? I was getting pushed in the back, man. I couldn't tell you. You know, uh, I just had that gut feeling that somebody was going to come. Hopefully it was me, hopefully it was my teammate, but somebody did it. And I'm just blessed and amazed that it happened. When did you know somebody caught it? Was it the crowd? Was it, did you see him? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on the ground after being pushed down. Uh, I just hit a crowd and I just look up and just say thank you. And I knew it was time. I knew I was getting the ball in my hands. And I knew I had to make something happen. One, one play earlier, I think you thought you had the touchdown. Oh, yeah, most yeah. definitely. Uh, I got to hold on to those. The ground, that thing is a mug. But I'm just extremely blessed to have the opportunity to coach and trust me again. Uh, to win again for that. Just walk me through that play. Like, Coach said, y'all work on that. Like, how did you how did you end up coming up with it? Were you surprised at all when you had it? Or? When we ran down the field, I ain't seen nobody by me, but I seen he was going to Kobe. So he tipped it. And I was already falling, but the ball just came to me. So I caught it one hand. And I thought I dropped it, but the rough came next to me. He said I caught it. I looked at the crowd. I was just, I was surprised. My mind's still blown right now. Right. Like, do it feel like it's happening in slow motion? Or is it all yeah, super I'm fast? Still, or like... I'm like lost right now, real talk. I'm lost. And uh, I mean, y'all y'all decided y'all were going for two. Uh, how much, you know, were y'all looking forward to that moment? And uh, what was your thoughts when y'all scored? Every practice. I had no doubt he wasn't going to score that play. And uh, how much of a difference do you think uh, Coach Widen has made, you know, in this first year here? And it's been. Dude, the dog, offensive mastermind, defensive mastermind, he knows everything. Special teams, he that guy, real talk. And like, what's it feel like just coming through in a moment like that for the squad? I mean, like I said, that's the biggest, biggest player in the game. I'm just happy for my team for uh, our first time ever being in school history. I think I'm happy for my coach, my players. I'm, I'm the last person to be thanking right now. Talk us through the touchdown play and what you're seeing and reacting. I think you had a shot at it and it gets kind of tipped and, and you stick with it and pull it down. The first time I was going to go for it, but I seen Kobe going for it. We ran a tip during the practice and I just did what we learned to practice. What's the emotions like as you are I'm still blown right now. Slow motion. Slow motion.